Our lands are bust live stream. Star date 2020 That's right. 782.6. This is the second live stream in between episode 782 and 783. Our numbering system is inconsistent. <laughs> uh, but we are at 30,456.2 megabytes. And we're going to begin. Oh, I also just realized, Wolfie, thank you. I also just realized that I'm streaming at 50 frames per second. So for everybody who wonders why I only record and upload these in 30 frames a second, you might be able to see why in this one. Um, but yeah, let's, let's break out here. Let's make sure we're moderately safe. Um, do that, that, that. Do I need, eh, I think we're good. Grab Wolfie. And uh, get out of here, I guess. Why not? Let's go. Let's go. Bandwidth? No, no. Just everybody. I did one episode of Far Lands or Bust when YouTube started to allow 60 frame videos. And everybody hated it because they could see the jitters. They could see the jitters so much clearly and it would make them very, very sick. <laughs> Um, I don't know how that translates to this 50 frames per second, but I've kept it on 30 frames simply because I got so many complaints about the 60 FPS. Uh, I, I don't know why. I, it just, I have no idea why. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the shakes. People said the shakes seemed worse at 60 frames versus 30 frames. And then somebody came back to me and like calculated the exact frame rate that would make the jitters disappear, like because it would be in sync, you know, like those videos of helicopters that whose rotors don't seem like they're moving because they match the frame rate of the camera recording them. Um, and I'm like, thank you, but I don't care. <laughs> like I'm not willing to put that much effort into it. And it was some odd, like, 12.875 frames per second or something like that. Which I'm assuming isn't consistent, because walking this way, the jitters aren't as pronounced because we're walking against the grain, as opposed to going with the grain here. We get them every block. Indeed. Indeed. My friends, indeed. Woof. But what's new? What's new with you? Um, I've been playing a lot of SnowRunner, even without Cone. That SnowRunner is this year's Astroneer, even though I did play Astroneer for quite a while as well this year. Um, just one of those games that's like fits into my style of game play streaming and stuff it's like slow chill methodical there's chance for error and comedy feel like that fits right in. It fits right in, much like Far Lands or Bust. Not much happens. Every once in a while something cool does happen. But otherwise we can just we can just we can just enjoy each other's company. Of course, speaking similarly of which some of you have noticed that over on Twitch, here, on Twitch, here, here on Twitch, uh I enabled the option on my channel to make VODs, the VOD archives, past broadcasts, highlights, whatnot, subscriber only. Um, and this is wasn't really a neat idea. This really wasn't a, a, a flippant idea. And like this has been an option for streams 
for a while. Um, but I've been looking at what a few other streamers, broadcasters who had enabled it were saying, and how it seems to have at least shown an increase in subscribers, which is good for the streamer, obviously, but then also good for the the subscriber community that they have built. Um, and it kind of resonated with me, so I decided to try it. And when I say try it, I mean I'm probably not going to change it, unless there's like serious technical or, or whatever problem with it. Um, and I realize, and I've already heard from viewers who aren't exactly happy with that, as you can imagine. The vast majority of the people I see in chat, every single one of you up on stream, mostly, except for Porthos there, uh, is a subscriber. So I, I know that nothing will change for the vast majority of the names I know. Then again, there are a lot of viewers who don't chat that I have no idea what their subscription status is. <laughs> but, uh, oh, and Rollin. Hello, Rollin. Yes, you as well. So, my, my, like, the primary thing and the biggest thing I've noticed, especially since they announced Twitch Prime and Twitch Prime subs, is... Like, that used to be, like, the primary source of subscription income was Twitch Prime. That was a huge... That was a huge kind of switch that got flipped for a lot of Twitch channels uh, that allowed it to become a viable platform, primary platform for, for streaming and income. Um, that has dropped off significantly. And I, I'm, my theory, and it's kind of being proven a bit here in the first day, is that most people just don't know that they need to manually resubscribe their Twitch Primes. And perhaps these are people who don't watch live streams. Perhaps due to scheduling, or perhaps they just don't like live streams and they'd rather watch archive videos or whatever. Like... Capybara Cosmonaut, gifting a sub to Zenzavo. I don't know why that alert is wrong, but I see that. Zeno Zavos, welcome to the sub tub. Thank you, Capybara Cosmonaut, gift sub, sub tub. Um, so I feel like that will be a reminder to to not leave that Twitch Prime subscription unused. That's that's money that you're just leaving for for. Amazon and Jeff Bezos to suckle on and uh, like yeah we as a streamer get a full payout from that sub um, and if you already have Amazon Prime you obviously if you don't have Amazon Prime don't sign up for Amazon Prime just to get the Prime sub that would it would be cheaper for you to just do a regular sub but uh, I, I I feel like that would be a significant source of help. In addition to, you get access to the Discord server with a subscription and, and the VODs now and uh, uh, emotes and, you know, whatever. Uh, I could go on and on. So that was kind of my primary thing. And already within the last 24 hours since I enabled it, uh, while I was offline, you never get subscribers while you're offline. That's another thing. You never get subscribers while you're offline. I got well at the at the time before I Capybara underscore cosmonaut gifted a tier one sub to Porthos underscore nineteen. That time it worked. They have given fifteen gift subs in the channel. Thank you very much, Capybara. Um, I think because that was a targeted gift sub. The other one was a community gift sub. It doesn't know how to handle the community gift subs. Um, what was I saying? So yeah. Um. I've already seen, I got six subscribers, I think, before I even started streaming, I got eight. And the majority of those were Twitch Prime subscriptions. So already I feel, I feel 
justified. Um, <laughs> so that's that's kind of the primary reason. Uh, but also, I do feel like I've gotten kind of stagnant. Not stagnant is the wrong word, but just stagnant. <laughs> <laughs> At least since I'm saying now that yes, Twitch Prime is what I'm doing primarily and not YouTube because YouTube simply doesn't pay. Oh, I should just make an elevated hidey hole here, shouldn't I? Yeah. Oop, bleh, bleh, wolfie, bleh. Um, so it always takes like reflecting, looking at trying to plan for the future, and there's not really anything I can think to do to change my YouTube experience. Um, Patreon is currently a struggle for me as somebody who doesn't create... Let's just go to sleep. As somebody who doesn't create, like, deliverables that I can send or provide to everybody. Like, this is my deliverable. Punched in the microphone! This is my deliverable. <laughs> deliverable is, is streams, primarily. And... Our lands are busts on YouTube. Um, so I'm having a real struggle with Patreon. And the people who are there, I feel like, are my diehards who have been there for a long time. And I appreciate each and every one of them. And uh, I, like, I still, I just feel like they support me for, and, they, you know, they know and they, a lot of them don't want stuff in return. Um, so, um, where was I going with this? Oh, so yeah, I just wanted to look at Twitch and try, like, up until now, it feels like I've been treating it as YouTube. Certainly last year, 2019, when I tried playing 365 games, I started highlighting all of my streams and then exporting them to YouTube, and... That really didn't make a difference at all to my YouTube. I was really treating it as like, I'm recording YouTube videos, but live. Um, and I would like to shift to, I'm streaming live. <laughs> like, that is the platform I'm using. And so, even though, yes, I realize it's been, it's been, it's been free and is usually, quote unquote, free for other channels to access their VODs, I feel like the VODs, the saved streams, should be the unusual perk. Rabbit, Rabbit Ronin. Ronin gifted a tier 1 I don't sub to, to say Roland it. 81. They have given 11 gift subs in the channel. I don't even have to say it. Susan says it for us. Thank you very much, Rabbit Ronin. Sub dubs. Give subs. So, um... So yeah, I'm, I... I I can't change my content because that would require me changing myself and my personality. So I can only change the way I think about delivering it. So I would like to focus on live content and be able to present it as such without also in the back of my head worrying about, oh, where am I going to put this together for YouTube or split it up or... Uh, you know, what tags am I going to apply to get seen in the algorithm? So, that's another reason. And the 15th reason <laughs> is, uh, like, yeah, if, if this encourages more subscribers, as it already has, even if it's gift subs, perhaps it encourages gift subs, too, uh, for, to, to, to people who want to enjoy the VODs. Um, there are very kind and very generous people on, in in the sub tub already who, who, who gives gift subs. Um, I don't want people to depend on that, but uh, those people then get access to the VODs, but also perhaps they'll show up in chat more now that they have emotes. Perhaps they'll show up in the sub tub discord and communicate in there. Um, and it'll just grow the community in that regard. And like I said, all, all these subscribers I got while I was offline um, were all names I've never heard, <laughs> I've never seen in the chat. Um, maybe they're lurkers, and that's fine. You can remain lurking. But it, it, you know, it's it's nice. It's nice to get some 
fresh blood, meat, meat pie, uh, in the sub tub, <laughs> and uh, you know, just just get things, uh, keep things fresh. So hopefully, hopefully th that's the case. I know that nothing I can say is going to make a very small percentage of of a few people. Who maybe I have been fans for a long time. Who this is the final straw, um, but as as somebody who depends on this for my life, I, I can't. I can't. I can only go so far to cater to those who I see no. It sounds selfish, but I it's. I, it's the way it works, but, you know, that, that, that I can't, that I don't see feedback from uh, on a usual basic. Basic? Basis. So, yeah. And I, I have a whole Twitter thread and I didn't even mention a lot of it, but yeah, right now is weird times for a lot of people. <laughs> um, I was just talking before I started recording, uh, recording, streaming uh, the Far Lands here just to the chat. Like, I just moved in with a girlfriend and she owns her own business and for the past 15 years she's been building it up and has, has a storefront and a member of the community she's in and it's been deemed as non-essential so now while we both have savings and she's never made it even even a a, a, a whisper of a thought that I would need to be responsible for bringing in more money or bringing covering expenses here in the house that I just moved in with her would be nice <laughs> to keep some security in that regard and it's very frustrating uh, you know for her um, but also for me to, to see what she's going through and I can continue working here and I can do make what changes might be necessary even if they're not totally popular with a few people uh, and that's one of them so yeah I hope I made sense I hope I made sense I may well again I, I I sometimes think maybe I should have announced it beforehand but honestly that's tends to be when things go wrong and then I start to second guess myself I feel like making a decision executing it and then seeing the outcomes is probably the best way and, and so far I mean at least in this first 24 hours like I said I've seen positives so anyway that's like the only scripted thing I wanted to talk about here that's the only and and this video and far lands are bust and these far lands are bust streams are always going to go up on my YouTube channel so I suppose a perk of being subscribed is that you get to watch them a little bit before I get a chance to upload them to YouTube uh, if you're if you're subscribed on Twitch but they'll always go up on YouTube um, and those will be up on YouTube I mean I could also like like there are YouTube you can say is members only or whatever but I don't I don't I don't feel like that matches that content as I'm matching this Twitch live content indeed So, how's it going? <laughs> Ooh, a floating block of sand, a floating block of sand. I can't put you on a t-shirt because you are owned entirely by Mojang Microsoft. Oh, wrong yet. Zombles, zombles. Bloink. T. 
Sí. Have you seen the Unreal Engine 5 tech demo? I have, and that was the reference of the joke I made in my tweet about going live. Billions of triangles. Billions of triangles. I don't... I mean, like, I'm not a game developer, so that doesn't really affect me at all. Um, but also, at the same time, those tech demos don't affect me either <laughs> because it, I I don't feel like that a game with that sort of fidelity or utilizing all these whip whip whip, whip bam boom bing uh, features of this new engine are something I would play regardless nor is it something that would potentially even get made like that got made by the engine creators as a tech demo, and it was like one little level of a game. So, I don't... I mean, it was interesting. None of the words meant anything to me. Triangles! Bump mapping. Real-time shadows. <laughs> Vortices and vertices. Eidolons, eidolons. So yeah, I don't, it didn't look, I, I'm like, okay, I mean, I guess the rocks look a little bit more detailed, but it didn't look any different than, like, some modern next generation video game graphics I've, I've seen already. So, you know, a lot of the games I play purposefully don't look that, whoops, fell in the bed, look that, uh, high fidelity on purpose as their art style, which I appreciate. So, did my boat survive? Oh, it did. Yeah, I could see if you're a developer, how it's like, okay, that'll be interesting to use, or I could use that. But otherwise, I don't think it affects me or us as gamers. Certainly within, like, the next year or something. Like, it's not like, oh, these games are going to start getting released tomorrow. Um, oh, it's fine. Tea bags. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on PS5, Xbox Series X, Box. <laughs> Like, I wonder what that means for games that are already in development. Like, the new Hellblade game. Like, are they working in Unreal 4? So, like, everybody's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I can't. Now we gotta start all over. Everything in the trash. I don't know. I don't know how game development works, or game development cycles. So here we remain, completely unaffected by any of these changes. I mean, especially someone as a PC gamer. Was like, well, I won't be able to afford any sort of hardware that can do that. So, not for me for the next decade or so. Oh, 
A wolf. PC now can probably handle it given the PS5 specs. I don't think so. It couldn't handle uh, metal, a uh, metal, a uh, uh, Call of Metal, <laughs> Call of Duty Warzone, even on the lowest settings. I should rephrase that. It couldn't handle it and stream it at the same time, but even then, I don't think it could handle it on like anything better than the lowest settings. Right? Like with that big tech demo, Animal Crossing is still like the biggest game right now. I have a, a GeForce 970. Uh, make some boats. A boat's bed, I mean. Hey there, Wolfie. Easy there, big fella. <laughs> yeah, okay, a 970 is probably not enough. <laughs> yeah, when I build computers, which this one I built like five years ago, I tend to go mid-range just because of the astronomical prices of top tier new release stuff at the time. What tea is that? It is, uh, the girlfriend got it. It is a uh, organic celestial seasonings, uh, lemon, lemon honey herbal, herbal, herbal tea. My throat's been googly, especially when I'm streaming, so I'm trying to maintain vocal fidelity. Herbal space program, yes! Oh, uh, I gotta make that shirt. <laughs> Still gotta make that shirt. program. This is the chillest Minecraft stream. You want me to, I can go all YouTuber on it. If you want. Yeah, that's the problem. I think as somebody who builds computers for himself, like my number one reason is always like, oh, it's so I can upgrade it myself. But I don't until it is time to upgrade. And then like, I gotta upgrade the motherboard. And then it's like, at that point, it's a whole new computer anyway, so. <laughs> So much for that upgrading thing.
how large is the world? We just checked it. It's over 30 gigabytes. Forgot the specific number. Oh, got a wolfie. He got stuck in some leaves. He's fine. Doing great. Doing fine. The spawner. Man, I'm really sick of these underwater spawners. Oh, what? They're a real pickle to uncover, but I think I have to. Like, this one is a little bit better. I do need more dirt, though, still. Those will get noises. Sun is setting, it should provide me with enough time. Okay. Elevated hidey hole, sleep, and then we plunder. Under. Oops. Liquidy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn block offset. <laughs> I don't snore on the live streams. This isn't an episode. I snore on the episodes. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, the, oh, there we go. That's better. Like, the jitter really makes this difficult. I'm surprised nothing is spawning. There might not be any space for them to spawn. Damaging this shovel. Well, don't want to go that way. I did it. A spoiler spawner. We got 
Oh. I don't need string. Why did I get string? I'm not going to make wool out of it, but... Boo! I think that's the only chest. Because there's no other bump. And I'm honestly not really interested in digging around trying to find the other bump. If we say that's the only chest, I'd be happy with that. Be gone, foul beasts. None shall even know you exist here. The cube. A cube! Oop. Ah! Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> ah! Real smart guy right here. Real smart. start. I really gotta do better at uh, noting that. past the hour. Thank you, Jim Conis. What else? What else is new? What's what's what what's what's on your brains? Have you been able to get your coffee at the minute, Kurt? Have you been able to get your coffee at the minute, Kurt? Oh, 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 oh. You mean like the the, the coffee? <laughs> um yes, I got a big five pound bag from Intelligentsia. And then I posted it to my Instagram, and then they reposted it. <laughs> which was weird. Um Yeah, I used to get stuff from Target. They had it. Um, like they had Intel. They don't carry Intelligentsia anymore, but they at least have Stumptown. And uh, I just haven't, I don't, I don't know that the Target near where I live now carries that. And also I'm not going to Target. Uh, so yeah, I've got a, I've got a, a good Backlog of coffee. I got Stumptown, and they had Intelligence. Yeah, I haven't. Sometimes it's on sale too. But even if it was on sale, the the five pound bag that I got, ounce for ounce, it was would have been it's, it's cheaper because they had like a free shipping thing. But took advantage of it. Yeah, targets out here are weird. Like the the target I used to go to even had like all my gluten free pizzas and stuff. But then there was another one that had no gluten free anything. So I was like, okay. Uh, so yeah, I haven't really delved. Again, I moved here and then everything happened. So I really haven't had any chance to explore my options. Beans! I got beans!
How long does a five pound bag last? I don't know. This is the first time I've gotten a five pound bag. Um, on the weekends, we'll have coffee together. Um, she's not as picky with her coffee as I am. But yeah, I don't know. I still got at least half of it left, even more. I mean, their normal bag sizes are 12 ounces, so not even a pound. Although I'm trying to put less sugar in it. I'm trying to figure out this weird blood sugar situation. Is there an expiration date? On the good coffee? Yes. Which is also like another thing if I did buy it at Target, I would always look on the roasted on date to find like the closest one. Because theoretically, you're supposed to use your beans like they're at their peak like three days after roasting up to like two or three weeks if they're kept in an airtight container and in bean form. Um, so yeah, the, the this five pound bag is certainly stretching that. Can nitrogen purge the bags. I don't know. The bags have that little valve on it, but even then, you're supposed to airtight container it. Obviously, pre-ground coffee lasts even less. You're supposed to grind your tea right before you brew it. I mean. These aren't all. This is like ketchup on hot dogs. These aren't <laughs> hard rules that you have to follow or else you're excommunicated. Um, I'm personally not picky about it, but I'm like, I, I need coffee and I don't want to have to run out of coffee and need it. So five pound bag! <laughs> Any restaurants you miss at the minute? Not really. Honestly, this is less of a complaint and more of an observation. But I don't know how how many of you have. Well, that was I weird. Just don't think there's anybody better. That was weird. Really? You got it. You got it. Hey, thank you. That was weird, Homokami. We had some weird technical glitch there. Thank you very much for 43 months in the sub tub, though. Sub tub. I gotta figure that out. I wonder what I did wrong with those. Um, yeah, we've gotten takeout. Obviously, takeout is the only thing you can get from restaurants now. And, like, we've done so because we want to have takeout, but also, like, support local businesses and that stuff. But, it, uh, but the few times that we have, We've been very disappointed. Either they've gotten an order wrong, or it's just not been the same. And that's fine. Everybody's trying their hardest. But I'm assuming it's because restaurants are running with a skeleton crew. Perhaps not the most experienced chefs or, you know, employees. Because they're trying to run with as little overhead as possible. Well, therefore, that dips the quality. Um, but that's That's been a bit disappointing. So we're kind of just like, we could get takeout, but based on our previous experiences, it's probably not going to be good. And we probably could just make our own stuff <laughs> for, you know, less, less money and, and hassle. Um... So yeah, uh, and my sister in Chicago had a horrible experience with DoorDash or something, and I've always had horrible experience with those experiences with those. So I don't want to use any of those. Um, so yeah, that I mean that that's that's an observation, not like a criticism. Like all restaurants suck, but like clearly that's what's going on. Um, that they're running with a cheaper skeleton crew. And, you know, what with the uh, the supply lines of food 
and stuff, those are probably affected. And they're not getting their 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 best ingredients. But yeah, I I mean kinda miss restaurants. I suppose. I didn't have any like super duper favorites. And I never went to like restaurants or bars or anything for like social atmosphere. Um Miss, miss going out for uh, for pho, like that was a thing we did a lot. You know, a couple places. There's a really good place near us, and that's just like neat, neat, or just like you know, go out and sit down and get a big bowl of get get a big bowl of good soup. Like that, I I think just we miss as an activity of something to do. I mean, pizza too. There was a pizza place we liked going to that had gluten-free stuff. But that's more in the city. But yeah, at the same time, it's... I mean, we had our one-year anniversary. We had a place we wanted to go and stuff, and that got obviously cancelled. But yeah, I mean, that's another thing. Like, like, you know, the girlfriend's business, non-essential. Um restaurants are like should we stay open like we can't not you know like th th we can't have zero money coming in a lot of these places they're certainly not going to be making as much money as a takeout place versus a dine-in restaurant so therefore they're going to run like i said with less overhead and that means less quality um what can i make this Whoopa! <laughs> yeah, all these places are gonna close. I've already seen a lot of at these on these strip malls, like for rent signs up on these places that are now vacant. Oh, hello. Action scene. Action! So, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be very different. It's gonna be very different. A lot of these places are gonna close and never come back. And, but, you know, why would, like, oh... You might think, oh, somebody else will take their place, or a new restaurant will open. Why? <laughs> why would they want to? If this same thing happens again, who would take that risk? Same thing with all these businesses which are non-essential. Well, I mean, while while we all agree that we don't we want to be safe and not spread this virus, if at any moment I'm told I can't make any money anymore, why would I continue operating? Why why would why would this be a viable thing, regardless of how much? of yourself you put into your own business that you built from scratch or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know. That's that's tough. That's tough. I mean... Well, yeah, and that's the thing. Everybody's like... Everybody. Well, I mean, certain people are, are talking about... I'm talking about this, by the way. I've told... I've, I've said that, like, oh, far lanes are bust and, like, my stuff is not... is a place to escape this, but <laughs> here we are. Um, uh, you know, everybody is... not everybody, but some people are like, oh, you can't give people $2,000 stimulus checks. Where's all that money gonna come from? Well, what about all the billions that are keeping Boeing running? And like hotel chains, you know, feel like keeping citizens able to continue paying their rent and mortgage and food, just you know, is far more important than all this other stuff. Um, So yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, you hope, like, it's certainly gonna get worse before it gets better. Careful, Wolfie! Ooh, it was. 
Um, but hopefully there's not... There's no going back to normal. Because the normal was no good. Before, the normal didn't have any protection for people from this. That's protection for big businesses and corporations, but not for people. Um, so, yeah, everybody's hoping. And, that, you know, and that's, there's a, there's a very loud and perhaps even in charge populace who are, who want to get the economy back open, get back to normal because they, as far as they saw it, were profiting from the normal, uh, and, and, we're, we're, are not in danger uh, from the systems changing. So, yeah, Blah. it's very frustrating. Like, I do, I keep a lot of it inside. Uh, the girlfriend does not. The girlfriend is the opposite of me in that general. In America, <laughs> first you get the sugar, then you get the power, then you get the women. <laughs> Just got here. This is getting heavy. It is getting heavy. I'm sorry. Thank you very much, Righteous Cucumber. I need to make that alert louder. It's also doing the thing. It's doing that thing where it's like, before it starts playing. I don't know why that is. Gotta refresh my browser cache on OBS or something. So, anyway. We will see. Why are you wearing a life preserver? Did you jump off of a boat? Did you abandon ship? I think these streams are helping you get there faster. I'm pretty sure they are. It's like another two or three episodes per week worth of walking without the actual episodes. Which at our peak we were doing, you know, when I say at our peak, I mean like six years ago, we were doing three episodes a week. <laughs> a wolf. I'm mostly interested in, I was a little bit discouraged when people were theorizing about how we won't see the next uh, floating point border for like two years or something like that. I'm like, oh, I thought it was like right around the corner. I'm really hoping that we get to, to that point a lot sooner by doing this. That means this is episode, this falls in between episode 782 and 783, um, but we already did a stream that was 0.5, so this is, this is after 0.5, but also the date reflects that as well. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I have a bed. What am I doing? Oops, made some planks. Well, <laughs> listen. Made some ethos labs. Oh, that's wrong. Wait, is it? No, that's right. Yeah, that'd be fine. Mobs won't spawn on that. Because it's a it's a half block. Neat! <laughs> Wait, did I leave my my workbench?
Boop, 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 It's not about the destination, it's about the triangles! Billions of triangles, billions and billions of triangles. If you'll excuse me. Mm. How many games did you get last year? Uh, somebody put the in chat exclamation point 365. Thank you. There is a very convenient spreadsheet with the entire list of all the games, links to the games, and then links to the VODs available for subscribers uh, right there. It was, what was it, like 240 something? How much do you spend on games annually? Don't know. I would have to look on my taxes. I rarely pay full price for games unless it's like one that I like. 225. Uh, like, uh, SnowRunner I paid full price for. I like some of the F1 games. So yeah, I'm normally waiting for sales, and I honestly play a lot of, like, itch.io oh. demos and, and free downloads. I did play Fez, and I got to a point where I stopped liking it, so I never played it again. So if your estimations are correct, we're coming up on an hour here. This should probably be the last sunset. The final sunset! Uh, ooh, definitely could use some wood. It already is Venom. It already is bad that people can't watch. Which is why I have a podcast edition of the episodes. It is the next time it happens is gonna double. So it might be too much that I can't play. <laughs> In which case we do have a fix. That'll fix that. Which I think will be kind of unfortunate, but necessary to continue the journey. How much ice? 
Ah, Wolfie, what the heck happened to your tail, you dingus? Got all these pigs. I just got all these pigs. <laughs> Did you get trapped under the ice or something? Technically, the fix only elongates the issue to the point where you'd have to be beyond the far lines to see it. Really? I don't know. I've never even... Like, I saw the video that that one person made about the fix. Look at this. Uh, but I, like, I never tested it or anything. <laughs> um, ooh, neat place. Wolfie. There you are. All right, this way. Well, that's just fabulous. place I approve of this terrain God. oh and it continues Oh, what's going on over there? This, this is going to be a fantastic point to start the next episode in. Nice spires. What is that? That's either cobblestone or gravel on the other side of this opening. Okay, it's gravel. Never mind. Never mind, false alarm. No. Spooky noises, that's what I wanted to do is alerts. Spooky noises. They're like bit alerts. And I feel like I would have to have a separate our lands or bust alert set up and then a regular alert oh. set up. Well, I guess unfortunately, <laughs> the vast majority of this awesome train is going to be behind us. Let's dig in right here. Oh, oh god, I almost like with an axe. No! Oh! A deer! A female deer. Cone dodger? Now that's an alert I need to change. I mean, it's not bad, but I should change it to something far more far lands busty or something. A cone raid, just as we're finishing. Our lands are bust here. 
Welcome, raiders. Oh, there goes my shovel. Ah! That's annoying. I gotta figure out why my sound files freeze up like that. Uh, thank you very much for the raid and Righteous Cucumber for the 240 bits. I don't know why it does that. But we're not going to stick around here to find out. I'm going to bed. All right. Yet another extra hours of Farlands or Bust Walkitude between episode 782 and 783. Thank you, everybody, for joining in Twitch. I'm not going offline. I'm just stopping with the Farlands or Bust. Um, and for everybody watching on YouTube, I'll see you in episode 783. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets. 30,534.